Hey everyone, today I wanted to do a quick video on the max input that you can put into a Yeti, uh, whether it's through solar or the wall chargers or even through the car charger. So if you look at the unit, it's a little confusing and every time I post a video, people have questions. So if you go to the Gold Zero site here, and this is for the Yeti 1000, but really this applies to the 1400 and 3000 as well. Um, if you look at the technical specs, you'll see an area here that talks about that. And, you know, if you zoom in here, it says pretty clearly both on the front of the unit and here in the specs that the max input that the Yeti can accept is 360 watts through the Anderson power pole connector. If you're doing the eight millimeter connectors, it's even less because those can't handle quite as much power. But it's pretty clear both here in the specs and also on the unit itself that the built-in PWM charger can handle 360 watts with the Anderson power pole connector. And I've seen a lot of people say, hey, this unit is not as good as some others out there. This is the Kodiak. Um, I'm not gonna compare these head to head, but I think it's important to look at this because this specific thing about solar charging input is something that people always raise as a problem with the Yeti. So if you look here on the Kodiak, it can accept 500 watts and it is now a built-in MPPT charger. So that's a good thing. And you can see 500 watts is more than 360. So if you just compare what you get out of the box between say a Goal Zero and a Kodiak, the Kodiak would win in terms of solar charging input. Um, but most people I think have invested in the MPPT module for the Goal Zero unit, just because you want to have more efficient charging. Um, so I have this installed in my unit and it's super unclear the way that Goal Zero describes the Yeti versus this module, um, because they treat them as separate things, it's not really clear what's happening here. And if you look at the specs, um, you know, it'll give you some information about what the eight millimeter inputs are, but when it comes to the Anderson power pole connector on this module, it doesn't really say how many watts. And so I popped open the manual here. Uh, I thought maybe it would be here, uh, but you can see the manual has the same vague information about how much input you can put into the Anderson power pole on the MPPT module. So that's really confusing. And I think Goal Zero is getting a ton of questions about this. I get this on every video. Um, and if you actually go to the Goal Zero site and you scroll down both on the Yeti and on this module, and you go to the Q&A section, you'll see lots and lots of questions about this. So there's some really good news here when you start looking at the answers from Goal Zero. So Basically, the built-in PWM controller will accept 360 watts, like we said, and that's printed on the unit. Um, but if you have the MPPT module installed, that's gonna give you an additional 325 watts. So these are additive. They're not something that just happen separately. And the other thing that people ask about is solar panels specifically. And the cool thing here is because solar panels don't really output the 100 watts, say that a panel says, it might only put out 70 or 80 or 90 watts. You can actually attach up to 800 watt panels to your Yeti and you'll be totally fine. So you could use those combiner cables to do that. So, um, you know, unlike something like the Kodiak, the Kodiak might have more out of the box, but you can't expand it. And the Yeti um, is expandable through this module and will give you a lot more power than a Kodiak. So to recap, the built-in PWM inputs on the Goal Zero Yeti Lithiums can accept 360 watts. And if you have the MPPT module installed, that gives you an additional 325 watts of input. So if you add that up, that's 685 watts of power input for charging. And, you know, this can be any combination of solar panels, the car charger, or the wall chargers. So you can sum those together and plug them into your Yeti in any combination you want. So again, this is the PWM on the left-hand side, and this is the MPPT module on the right-hand side that I've installed. So I hope this video was helpful. There's been a lot of misinformation, a lot of confusion around this, and honestly, it's Goal Zero's fault. They do a pretty terrible job of explaining this on the site, but if you chat with them, or if you look at the Q&A, you'll see they're pretty consistent about these answers. Thanks for watching.